Just like all cats are mammals, but not all mammals are cats. All crypto art are NFTs, but not all NFTs are crypto art. I've made a video on the basics of NFTs or non-fungible tokens. You can go check that out. But today I'm here to explain the basics of what crypto art is because crypto art is a digital artwork that is linked to a non-fungible token. Traditionally, crypto art was related to the rise of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum and had symbolism around that. But it's now more loosely accepted as any digital art that's been tokenized on the blockchain in order to associate digital proof of ownership. So what does that mean? It means what we've taken for granted in the real world that a physical painting can be authenticated and owned now has the equivalent in the digital world. This is huge because this has never been possible for digital artists in the past. A token acting as a digital certificate for a digital file securely held on a permanent network of computers now allows digital artists to sell their work like never before. Crypto art is not just the digital file, it's the digital file backed by the NFT. So just like you can go online and find MC Escher's drawing hands and download it and print it, you would never try to convince anyone it's the original because you don't own the letter of authenticity. The same now goes for digital art. Everyone can see it or download it, but only one can prove they own it. The question of the value of owning a digital artwork now lies with the market, the market of collectors. People sold this work for $1 and a couple of months later sold this one for $777,000. Paris Hilton drew this picture of her cat and it sold for 17000 Justin Roiland, the creator of Rick and Morty, drew this sketch, and it sold for 90000 Of course, if you already have a fan base, everything you sell will be worth more. But even small artists can find collectors that just like the art or want to support their work. Pop art used to be disregarded as cheap and distasteful. Street art used to just be vandalism, and until recently, digital art was just for Instagram likes and exposure. When you mint an NFT for crypto art, you're not giving away any copyright or rights of reproduction. You're creating a new thing, a new product. That buyer can then enjoy it and sell it whenever they please. So where can you sell it? Well, there's an ever-changing list of places you can buy and sell on the primary or secondary market. So I'll keep a list below in the description. I've also made a popular video in the past on, uh, on top ones, but most crypto art sites currently use Ethereum to do their transactions, so you need to be set up with an Ethereum wallet to connect and transfer to. You also need a little Ethereum to start within your wallet to pay for minting or transaction fees. You can always transfer your Ethereum back out to your exchange of choice to cash out to fiat or dollars whenever you want. In the future, crypto art will just be called art, but at the moment, digital art is going through a movement led by changes in technology. The struggle of the artist will still remain uh, to create something with meaning and value, to find an audience or collectors, but the success of cryptocurrency in general has brought a wave of investors with big wallets to make a splash and bring eyeballs to the space with large transactions. The art world is a way to legitimize the space with creative thinkers, emotional ideas, entertainment, and connection to culture that is worth investing in. Early creators and collectors alike will be rewarded for their involvement in this movement.